Hello, everybody. Being that we're getting closer to what could be the most important election in our history, I just wanted to say a few words. It'll just take a minute. I'm gonna present a few facts. I'm gonna keep it super simple. I'm gonna keep it short. Please just hear me out. Kamala Harris versus Donald Trump, just the facts. You can fact check me, it's all true. Kamala, she graduated from Hastings College of Law. The law schools ranked 82nd out of 196 law schools. She graduated, she took her bar exam, she failed. She failed the exam. She has never had her own business, never had any of her own employees, ever. 2017 to 2021, she served in the California Senate. During those four years, she worked on 164 pieces of legislation, not one of them ever became law. What makes it worse is that she's a liberal governing in a liberal state and she was still zero for 164. So during the four years, she accomplished nothing. As vice president, she has a record, the lowest approval rating ever in the history of this country, 28%. Donald J. Trump, he graduated from Penn's Wharton School of Business. It's ranked number one out of 124 business schools in the country. He has run many businesses over 53 years, employed hundreds of thousands of employees over that time. Currently, he has 22,450 employees split between men and women. That equates to hundreds of millions of dollars over time that have flowed into the economy. Personally, I don't just vote blindly along party lines. I just vote common sense. Let me keep it simple. If your parents had a company and you inherited this company and you didn't want to or couldn't run it yourself, who would you pick to run it? Kamala or Trump? Someone that has never run anything or someone that has run companies worth billions? Now let me extrapolate for a second. Forget about this company I was saying your parents own. What I'm really talking about is a company called the United States of America. Again, please, common sense. Thanks.